Well, President Biden was in town this afternoon with a push for clean energy and a project for Philadelphia workers. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Dan Snyder was at today's event at the Philly shipyard. President Biden is making a push for clean energy, specifically offshore wind generation. And here at the Philly shipyard on Thursday, Biden announced that'll mean key jobs for these Philly workers. Hello, Philly! President Biden returning to Philadelphia, saying he's bringing jobs with him. The president announced the Philly shipyard will build a first-of-its-kind ship, the Acadia, to support offshore wind generation. It's going to place heavy rocks at the base of the offshore wind project to stabilize them when they put these down. And it's going to protect, protect it against erosion. The move is part of Biden's push to build 30 gigawatts of offshore wind generation by 2030, enough to power 10 million homes, according to the White House. Shipyard leaders say it's also helping them recover from the pandemic when they had mass layoffs with almost no demand. I have nine ships to deliver in the next five years, and I have, can have 1,500 smiling faces inside the shipyard. Every day. Biden got a tour of the shipyard ahead of today's remarks. Congresswoman Mary Gay Scanlon accompanied the president and says this latest investment will be big for our area. You know, we can advance the ball with respect to clean energy and create new jobs while doing it, and they're good jobs. But Biden says his offshore wind plan goes beyond Philly and is a bigger part of his pledge to bring jobs back to the U.S. Be the first vessel of its kind that's made in America, American owned, American operated. Dan Snyder, CBS News, Philadelphia. Well, in a statement, the PA GOP said Joe Biden bragging about Bidenomics while Pennsylvanians are struggling to make ends meet because of it shows that he's truly clueless about the struggles Americans face every single day.